Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to part one of our new series, which is building a business website in WordPress. Uh, I'm going to be taking kind of a unique spin with this. A lot of people are using uh, Astra or Astra and Elementor and things like that, and Divi. And I thought I would take another side approach to building a business website. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use one that I really love and I'm familiar with. Uh, it's actually a theme builder called Themify, and I don't know if you've ever seen this before or if it's something that uh, you've heard of. I, I'm, it's probably one of my favorite theme builders, it's themify.me. Yes, I will have a uh, affiliate link in the description, and no, I'm not sponsored by these people. Or I wasn't, you know, it's not like I was uh, told to do this. I have actually used this uh, this website's uh, plugin builder. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, themes and plugins that they have for WordPress for pff, man, it's got to be going on three or four years now. Uh, it's a pretty great uh, place to. I also have to show you using their Ultra, which is what we're going to use. And the best part is their whole package is $89 for everything. Uh, that's at all their themes, all their plugins, and everything. And you know what? Before even if you uh, have never seen it, or even if you're not familiar with it. Uh, just watching me use it for a few minutes, you'll understand why I use it so much uh, and why I kind of gravitated to it. So to get started with it, we're just going to head into our themes and appearance. In this case, we're going to be uploading. Remember when I showed how to do that by add new, and then instead of typing, we're hitting upload, upload a file. And on our desktop, we have a Themify Ultra right here. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in. Okay, now it has installed. We're going to go ahead and activate it. All right, guys, so after we've installed Themify, one thing you're going to notice is that now we now have a new flyout. Remember when I said that sometimes themes, especially uh, paid ones, have their own flyout menus? They're not just under the appearance. Uh, they actually get their own menu with their own settings. That's, that is the case here with the Themify uh, themes. And if we go to a front end of our site, even after just that base installation and refresh it, you're going to find that our entire site has changed and looks completely different. And I, what I really like about Themify's Ultra is that it's just like a really blank, blah-type website. It doesn't really have have anything it's just a basic header basic footer basic search uh, really nothing special about it and this is why I think it's gonna work best for building our example flower website which is what we're gonna do on our local host we're actually gonna build that uh, Bob Belfort's flower shop we're gonna actually build a website in a flower shop and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out there and look at what's we're gonna do it in kind of a few steps first we're gonna go out there and get a little bit of inspiration from what's currently in Chicago uh, for flower shops and then we're going to kind of come up with our own design our own color scheme and our own layout and we're going to talk about this scope of work as if it was given to us by a web client uh, aka Bob Belfort who wanted us to build him a flower shop uh, for his flower shop in Chicago and he said here's uh, here's kind of what I want and what what's the price and what can you guys do for me? And so us or you and I you now being hired as part of the WordPress and 10 uh, development team welcome board are going to build him website and so a couple ways to do that uh, is and I'm going to cover some basic stuff some very basic stuff that you'll run into with customers and stuff that you can do to get ahead of the pack but I just wanted to start by getting our initial uh, Themify set up and going through that so in the Themify Ultra, let's go to Themify settings and I want to show you guys something kind of cool about Themify's uh, when you first begin with it. So one of the cool things about it is it has skins and demos and this is one thing I really like about it. So say that we saw something in here that we wanted to start with and uh, and we're probably not going to start with any of this stuff. We may or we may not. We may just go find an example that we really like and build based on that. But let's just say for the sake of this example that we really liked uh, this, uh, let's say for the flower shop, we really just wanted a basic agency website. Well, let's open up the demo. This is going to take us to the Themify website. We're going to take a look at the demo. So this is a demo using the Themify software. And it's actually a drag and drop builder. And all this stuff is editable so easily. Uh, it will blow your mind. So let's say that we wanted to start with this. And maybe we do. You know, maybe we do. So what we do is we come in here and we would just hit import. And we would proceed to do our import. All right, and so now that import has been properly put into our site, Themify went ahead and imported all that. So if we go back to the front end, all right, so our homepage doesn't look exactly like theirs because remember, we have our own homepage that we set, and Themify didn't automatically change it to the one that they generated. So we'd have to go to pages. This is the page here that I believe that Themify just created. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, view this to make sure. Right, okay. So this is the homepage that Themify created 
for its example. And we're going to go ahead and, and also there's a few uh, plugins missing from this that are uh, some Themify plugins that I, it would prompt me to go download that I just didn't go download and I can go get them at any time. But uh, we can change this to our home page. This is our old home page, right? And so let's just go ahead and put that in the trash. And we're going to go set this new page as our home page, the one that Themify created. We can do that by going back to our settings in our reading. Static home page. Select their home. We got rid of ours. That's why there's only one. I just put ours in the trash. Okay. And so now back here at the home, or you take away home because it doesn't need to slug now. It's just on the, the core. All right. So as you can see, we now this is actually the website that we currently have uh, just by importing that. And so far it looks decent. Uh, some of this stuff is a little messed up because we needed to download some uh, some plugins that the the uh, theme wanted that I don't believe it installed. Right. And so we would actually need to get those in order for this theme to be uh, properly installed. It would ask us for those. Uh, specific plugins. Yeah, see, so this is the required list that it's asking for in order for this website to work exactly as their example uh, works. So we're going to go ahead and just install all these on a bulk. Okay, guys, all of this stuff has installed, so we're going to go ahead and go back and then let's go ahead and, oh, it's not activated. Let's go ahead and activate them as well. Or not update, not update, activate. Let's go ahead and get all these activated. All right, so now back in our front end, if we refresh, it should change a little bit again. It should add in some uh, some stuff. Let's go ahead and... All right, so we're going to go ahead and change the skin demo. I'm going to see if we erase this demo and re-import it, if it's going to go ahead and fix... I think that I imported it, and I didn't have those plugins pre-installed, and so maybe it didn't end up looking exactly like theirs. So let's go ahead and re-import that. See, so it kind of has everything. Oh, it wants these uh, these plugins that aren't installed. Um, these are actually ones that you download from Themify itself, and uh, when you have uh, a license, and I do, I just haven't downloaded them. But let's see if I now that I've installed all those other ones, if I proceed with this import, maybe it will do it properly. But a lot of this stuff is what it's calling in its homepage, and that's why it's not looking exactly like the example. So we'd have to download the maps, the contact progress bar, and typewriter for the builder. These are add-ons for the uh, for the Themify builder, which we'll go over. All right, so that's done, and let's go ahead and refresh our homepage again. Maybe it didn't set our homepage for us, so it might just be a blank. No. All right, so the reason why it's not looking exactly the same as there, uh, it's pretty close, but it's because we need to go install those uh, plugins that it was asking for. That's no big deal. We'll take care of that uh, in another video. The main thing I wanted to show you guys was just a little bit more about the Themify settings. I mean, you pretty much have everything you could ever need in here from your favicon uploading one to extra header codes and footer codes and uh, search settings and all kinds of stuff. Air 404 pages. I mean, there is tons of stuff in here. Um, theme settings as far as your responsive design as far as uh, your light boxes, your themes appearance and its color scheme and design, which we're going to talk about that in our next video. Uh, I mean, there's so much in here. We're going to end up going over quite a bit of it, actually, as we build this website and uh, give you an idea of how to use Themify. And remember, this is my personal choice. You guys can really choose to use anything you like, but for the sake of this video course, I will be using Themify Ultra. And uh, for a lot of other courses, you'll find people doing the same thing. They're going to be either using Divi, which is very, very similar, uh, or Astra, or any of those kinds. So I just chose to go the Theme of Five path because that's what I'm most familiar with. All right, guys, that's going to wrap us up for part one of this series. This was just a really quick introduction to the theme we're going to be using and a little bit about... Uh, you know, getting it, how you can import some skins and some demos, and it'll already take care of a lot for you. And the editing on this thing is is wildly streamlined on how to pretty much edit anything you want on the front end of the site uh, to look any way that we want. And we're going to talk about that in one of the next videos. But I think in the next video, we're going to go ahead and cover getting out there and kind of doing a little bit of reconnaissance work, how I kind of do it, or how we would do it as a firm, and then uh, kind of some resources for picking our colors and uh, and also the type of site we're going to build. And uh, we'll talk about all that in part two, which I look forward to seeing you guys in. Like, subscribe, uh, comment. Let me know if you guys uh, think that this is uh, something that um, you guys want to see. And if there's anything specific uh, you'd like to see in this course uh, that maybe I, ha I'm, I haven't talked about covering or that uh, you would like me to cover. So other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. And once again, I look forward to seeing you in part two.